Hi everyone, so we're here for a new lesson, use patterns to write and solve equations. So our essential question is how can you use the pattern to write and solve equations? So we could use the pattern and this is our lesson overview. We always have sample one and sample two and we'll work on it. All right, here we go. All right, so before we start, we would like to work on this question. The table shows how many candles are in different number of boxes. Find a pattern that explains the relationship between the values of C and B. Use words and numbers to describe the pattern. How can how many candles will there be in 10 boxes? Solve this in any way you like. So just to look at the, the table, uh, the number of candles we have 8, then the number of boxes we have 2. Number of candles we have 12, then the number of boxes is Three. And if you have 16 candles, then you're gonna have four boxes. Want you to solve it in any way you like. Um, draw a picture, and but this time it uh, you had to work it on your own. All right. I guess let's look at example number one. Let's listen to this. How can you find a pattern to write and solve an equation? Think about this question during the lesson. The table shows the cost of weekend tickets to the slide and splash water park. Find a pattern between the number of tickets, N, and the cost, C, of the tickets. Write a rule and an equation that represents the pattern. How much would six tickets cost? What pattern will you look for to find the cost of six tickets? What are the dependent and independent variables? Why? Look for the relationship between the number of tickets and the cost of the tickets. The independent variable is N, and the dependent variable is C. The cost depends on the number of tickets. To make sense of the problem, find the price of one ticket. Find the price of one ticket, P, when three tickets cost $16.50. What property of equality was used to solve the equation? Select your answer. One ticket costs $5.50. Check the cost for four and five tickets. Why is it important to check the costs for four and five tickets? It is important to check the costs for four and five tickets because you must make sure the rule works for all the related numbers in the table. State the rule. The total cost, C, is $5.50 times the number of tickets, N. Write an equation. Find the cost of six tickets. The cost of six tickets is $33. How was the equation used to find the cost of six tickets? Substitute six for n and then multiply five and five tenths times six. Write the answer in dollars. Now you know how to find a pattern to write and solve an equation. All right, so at this time, we want to work on our own problem. We're going to try this one. The table shows the number of yards, which is why, that a professional's bicyclist rides in S seconds. Find a pattern that relates to variables. If the cyclist maintains the speed, how far would the cyclist ride in eight seconds? So we could use this table to do that. So in two seconds, able to make it for 24.4 yards. And if you have six, you're gonna have 73.2 yards. So the question is, what will it be in eight seconds? What are the steps you're gonna do to solve this problem? You guys are right when you said, you find how much is one, um, how much is in one second? How many, how many yards will that be? So we're gonna divide 24.4 divided by two, that gives you 12.2. And 
And then since we know how much is one second, now you could multiply it to E to get your answer. So work on it. All right, so here's another question we are going to work on. Ethan owes his mother $75. He repays his mother a set amount each week. How much will Ethan owe his mother after the 12th week? So if you look at the table, he owes 75 and you will see that he's paying some amount every week. So what do you think will be Ethan's um, value of some, something that he owed for, um, from his mom after 12 weeks? I'll give you time to work on it, go. All right, so to solve this problem, you could create a table and um, that shows how much you pay per week or Ethan pays per week. And then the pattern starts with the amount owed and then it goes down decreasing $5 each week. All right, so continue the table. Also, we could create an equation to solve this problem if we don't want to do a table. So amount owed, which we could represent as A, and then the, the amount that uh, that is $75, and then how much you pay or Ethan pays every week, $5 every week. So that W stands for the number of weeks. To so substitute the value, we could do this, 75 minus 5 times 12, and that's going to be 75 minus 60. So A equals 15. This 15 now is the money that Ethan will still owe his mom after 12 weeks. So with that said, how many more weeks will Ethan pay off his, um, the money that he owe? Right, so say three more weeks to go. All right, I want to try to explain this one. If Ethan continues to pay $5 per week, how many more weeks will he need to pay his mother? And I want you to explain it in words right use mathematical vocabulary okay go all right i want you to go to page 236 of your book and um let's try to work on this one how can you use a pattern to write a solve equation and we'll talk about it um together in class all right so i also want you to go to do you know how good luck all right so before we end we usually have to check if we learned something on this lesson for today so I want you to self check in your book on um, if we achieve our math goals and our language goals good luck guys and we'll just have more activities to practice in understanding the problem using patterns and tables all right until next time